The man arrested for a homicide in Clayton was out on bond for a different crime, despite prosecutors' initial concerns. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Brent Solomon, and Allred has the night off. After a three-day manhunt, Trinell Johnson is now in custody. He's a suspect in the shooting death of Joshua Harris in Clayton early Monday morning. We'll have more on Johnson's arrest in just a minute. But first, we go live now to Five on Your Size Diamond Palmer. She's live in Clayton with more on what she's learning about this case from police. Diamond. Well, Brent, the major case squad confirmed to me over the phone this afternoon just a couple of hours ago that they are still looking for an additional suspect in this case, and they say they're not ruling out multiple suspects as well, and they actually arrested the 18 year old suspect in the O'Fallon Park neighborhood, and today was the day that police told me that they were still informing the family members of victim Joshua Harris. Now, Monday, just before 530 AM, police say Trinell Johnson and others were seen on video surveillance breaking into cars on Wydown Boulevard here in Clayton. Police say the victim Joshua Harris saw the suspects trying to break into his wife's car and that's when Harris then confronted the thieves and the suspect fired several shots. When police arrived, they found Harris with a gunshot wound and he was pronounced dead on the scene. Clayton's mayor says it's a gun problem and I spoke to one floral business who says it's disturbing to see these things happen in this community. Our police and also the major case squad, importantly for the region, have done a fantastic job of moving quickly, and that is the main thing that's going to help everybody feel safe. You know, what happened here in Clayton is, wasn't a mass shooting, thankfully, but you, know, but you hear about gun violence all the time, and it's happening everywhere. Now, the major case squad has told me that they are still following several leads in this case. They do also tell me that they are releasing only certain information to not compromise this case. Of course, if you have information about this crime, you are urged to call their tip line at 314-955-0817. Reporting live here in Clayton, Diamond Palmer, 5 on your side.